G'day and welcome to another video. In today's lesson we will learn how to make this really cool poncho. The poncho is using the ripple stitch which is normally seen in afghans but I was looking at one and thought oh I think I can make that into a poncho. But this poncho can also be used to make a skirt. Now I didn't realize this when I was making the video. It wasn't till the end of it that I thought I think that might actually fit me. Um, so when you're watching this tutorial, you won't get instructions on how to make it for a skirt. But when we make the poncho, we use measurements to get it to fit around our neck. So you could use those sort of measurements for the skirt. So this is what it looks like as a poncho. This is only a short one. It um, pretty much goes down to my elbows. But I will put it on so you can see what it looks like as a skirt. Okay, so like I said, it wasn't originally a skirt, but I think... That, look, that looks really cute. It's a little bit loose. I need to tighten it up. So all I've used is a drawstring. And it's just made with chains. You could use an eye cord for your skirt. Um, you could also put elastic somehow in there. Like I said, it wasn't originally going to be a skirt. It was a poncho. But I reckon... Oh, I've got my Zumba pants on. <laughs> I reckon this would look really cute as a skirt, don't you think? So yeah. So it is a poncho video, but I'm sure you could adapt it to make a skirt. You could make it as long as you want as well. It actually spins quite well. <laughs> Alright, so let's get started on the lesson. I will be using six balls of worsted weight yarn. They are the 7 ounce balls and or they are 200 grams. You can use any colour that you like but that is what I'm going to be using. So we're going to need our yarn. I'm using worsted weight. You can use 8 ply um, which is equivalent to double knit or sports weight. For your worsted weight yarn I'm using a 5mm crochet hook because I have loose tension, so that's a H size. You can use an I or a 5.5. This hook was supplied by Moon Shadow Threads. I will put the link below in the description box down here. I absolutely love these hooks, they're very nice to use. We will need a sewing needle with a really big eye. Bigger than that is better because it's easier to thread. And a pair of scissors. So putting our bits and pieces aside, we will make our slip knot. You can make that however you like. There is all different ways. So what we are going to do is make a chain. We're going to make a chain one and a quarter times the head circumference that we need. So to work out a quarter, you will get your head to circumference and divide it by 4. And the, whatever that number is, you will add that onto your head circumference. So keep chaining until you have 1 and a quarter times your head circumference. If you don't have a tape measure, here is an easy way to do it. So I've made my chain, and where my stitch marker is, that is my head circumference. I basically just wrapped it around my head. I didn't get a tape measure or anything. I just put it around my head. And then what I did is I kept chaining. So I've got a heap of chains there. I've actually got too many, but that's fine. So I can take them out. And I'm grabbing the end of the chain where we started, folding it in half. Can you see that? Folding that in half. And then folding that in half again and that is a quarter because you've got half and half of half is a quarter so you're going to keep chaining until you have a quarter which is there so I need to just pull my chains back to there this doesn't have to be exact this is just a rough measurement so I'm just going to pull that out <coughs> excuse me just pull that out so I don't lose it there we go, so it's just a rough measurement. So that's where we started the chain. We chained a 
along all the way da -da -da -dum. so that's my beginning I've wrapped it around my head this is really hard to show you in this camera space so that's my head circumference I folded that in half and then made more chains until I got that measurement there okay so we can take the stitch marker out and then okay so we've got our chain into the fourth chain from the hook we do not count the chain that is on our hook so it's one two three and four double crochet into that stitch chain two and two double crochets in the same stitch now I know people work their chain differently they go through both loops they go through the back loop that's fine however you work yours do that what you're comfortable with so what we've got is two stitches so that first chaining is counting as a first stitch two chains and two stitches all into that one space we are going to skip three chains so one two three in the next chain we're going to work two double crochets chain two and two double crochets touch chain two and into that same space we're going to work two double crochets we're going to skip three chains one two three and work two double crochets into the next chain chain two and two double crochets back into that same space Just need to move the camera up just a bit. There we go. We are going to skip three chains, so one, two, three. Into the next chain, we are going to work two double crochets. Now, can you see a pattern forming yet? We're basically repeating this all the way across. Chain two, into that same stitch two more double crochets okay so that's what it's starting to look like we are going to repeat this all the way across until we get to the end of our chain now when we get to the end of our chain don't panic if you have leftover chains or not enough chains We'll, I'll show you when I get to the end and we're just going to finish there we don't like to count when I do videos counting is overrated alrighty so we're going to continue on until we get to the end repeating skipping three chains two double crochet chain two and two double crochet into the same space so when we get to the end we want a few chains left over we want three chains left over because when we come around and join this together we want to recreate that little gap that we have here so that is going to be sewn into there so we have the gap so it looks like we haven't joined it okay so you will need three chains left if you've gone right to the end just pull that last one out and you'll need your three chains alrighty so laying down your piece that we just made you're going to make sure it's not twisted I'll just show you what I've done so I've just laid it down and made sure it's not twisted this camera is fantastic but sometimes you just can't get everything in the picture alrighty so that's not twisted we will pick up this side pick up that side And what we are going to do is join into the top of this chain here. So 
don't join up here where the stitch is, join in that chain that's there. So I'm going to make a slip stitch and then slip stitch into there. Just make sure that's a tight. There we go. Now I am going to change colour. So I want to cut my yarn off. If you aren't going to change colour, what you need to do, and I'll show you now, if you're changing colour, just do a chain and then pull your yarn out to go like that. Pull your hook and your yarn will come out and just pull down and secure. If you are not changing colour, we need to start in this gap here. So go into your next stitch, work a slip stitch, go into the next stitch and work a slip stitch. And then you're going to be, this is still going to be attached to your ball and you're going to start working out of that chain space. So because I'm changing colour, I'm going to finish off. And later on, you can do it now if you like, but later on we will be stitching this to there and that will look like that. Okay, so at the moment it looks a bit weird because you've got no join. So what we need to do now is join our new colour. Now if you're not changing colours, you won't have to do this little part. So put the yarn over the hook, pull through. chain one to secure. Now everybody needs to do this whether you're changing colours or not. Chain three, work two double crochets into the same space. Into the next stitch we will work a double crochet. We will be skipping the valley. So this is the peak because it goes up and the valley is down in the dip. So the two stitches that are either side of the hole that's here, we will be skipping those. So yarning over, skip two stitches and double crochet into the next. Into the next chain two space we will work three double crochets. Into the next stitch we will work a double crochet. We will skip the next two stitches and work a double crochet into the next. So skip these two, go into the next. Three double crochets into the next chain two space. So this is what mine's looking like. So the valleys will only be very slight, but you will see how it rises at the top there and sort of dips down in the middle. We've only done a first couple of rows, so it won't show very much yet. We will double crochet into the next stitch. We are skipping the next two stitches and making a double crochet in the next. So repeating this all the way around into the chain two space we're working three double crochets. Double crochet into the next stitch. Skip two stitches and double crochet in the next and three into the chain two space. So repeat this all the way around until we get back to the beginning of the row. Okay so I've just okay sorry I'll put that out. We have two stitches down here. Try and ignore this thread here. 
got one stitch there and one stitch there so they're the two that we skip and then you've got your double crochet on the other side there so we're going to double crochet into there then we're going to join into the top of the chain three you're going to cut your yarn which I've already done pull your loop through pull your loop through chain one and pull through now what we need to do is find the third stitch that's going into that chain three. If you haven't changed colour, you will slip stitch over into that third, uh, second stitch. See how there's three stitches into here? You will slip stitch into there, or if you're changing colour like I am, you'll add your new colour. chain three, work two double crochets back into that same stitch then after I get, grab more yarn we will work one double crochet into the next stitch skip the next two stitches and work one double crochet into the next so that bit's the same as the as what we did in the row below now when we come up to the three stitches that are into here this center one here is where we work our three double crochets We go double crochet into the next one. We skip the next two stitches and double crochet into the next one. So that will bring us to the center stitch of the three that's into there. We double crochet into the next stitch. We skip two stitches, double crochet into the next. That will bring us to the center stitch. See how there's three into the mid into the here? You're working three into that one there. And we repeat this all the way around. And what we're going to do is these two rows are the same. This one's worked a little different because we're going into a chain two space, but it's got the same amount of stitches. So these two rows, and then the next row will be an increase to make sure that our poncho is going to get a little bit bigger, otherwise, it's going to be like a straight jacket. So skip two, go into the next. And that wouldn't look very fashionable, would it? The poncho that is so tight you can't move your arms. So double crochet into the next one. And we are going to keep going around using this method till we get back to the beginning. So we're skipping two stitches, double crochet into the next. three double crochets and I'm just making sure that I actually actually going into that center stitch there one two and there goes the fridge three next one over double crochet skip two double crochet in the next so if you've already got the hang of this one keep going I'm just going to show you the next stitch and then meet with you when we finished three into the next so pause the video and I will meet up with you when we get back to the start of our row once we come around we want to skip our two stitches and then double crochet into the chain three
then we are going to join to the top of the chain 3 here and join with a slip stitch if you're changing colours cut your yarn, if not don't cut it <laughs> pretty simple so I'm grabbing a new colour and I'm going to join into the third so you know how we did our group of three here in the same stitch into the second, sorry, into the second stitch we will join our yarn chain one just to secure and then pull down the short piece at the back chain three and on this round, this is our increase round and what we want to do is work five stitches so this is counted as our first one five stitches into that same stitch that's one two three four we are going to double crochet into the next stitch skip the next two stitches double crochet into the next into the next stitch that's the centre one of the three we had below we're working five double crochets we're working one double crochet into the next stitch skip these two stitches in the valley go into the next stitch work a double crochet sorry my yarn keeps getting stuck in so we're going to so we've worked one, we skipped two, worked one double crochet then we are going to work five double crochets into the next stitch one into the next stitch now because we've done five here we're actually increasing that row skip two double crochet into the next one five double crochets into the next stitch so it's basically like the row before but instead of doing three we're doing five stitches double crochet into the next stitch skip two, go into the next stitch five stitches into the next stitch
one, two, three, four, five. One double crochet in the next, and do you get the idea? I've got the pattern now, so skip two, one double crochet into the next. Five double crochets into the next stitch. So it's starting to get wider here because we've added five stitches, not three. So this is where it will start to get bigger and look really cool. So double crochet into the next stitch. Just gonna move that camera up a bit. I'm not sure if I keep going out of the screen. That's better. Skipping the two valleys, double crochet in the next and five in the next and we're going to repeat this all the way around until we get back to the beginning One, two, three, four. and five so repeat this around until we get back to the beginning we are back to the beginning and after a few rows I would suggest sewing in those ends otherwise you're going to get to the end of your project and go ooh so many. Okay, so we need to skip two stitches and work a double crochet in the top of the chain three there. And then we're going to join into the top of the chain three. I'm really liking how my colours are coming out. The slip stitch. I think that's done looked really nice. Alrighty, so changing colours, chop yarn. If you're not changing colours, don't chop yarn. You are going to slip stitch across until you have the centre stitch of your work. So, got the five stitches there. If you're not changing colour, slip stitch across into that one, slip stitch into that one, because you want to be in the five stitches, you want to be coming out of that centre stitch. So it's a third stitch across there. So we're joining our colour if we're joining, or you're slip stitching across to there if you're not joining a new colour. We are going to chain three and the pattern of, of our poncho is two rows of the three into that center stitch and then one row of the five two rows of the three does that make sense and how we do three into that top stitch so it's from ignoring that first blue row this is our pattern to our poncho. So it's two rows of just three into the middle, one row of five into the middle, and then two rows of three into the middle. So you're increasing, you're doing this five into that every third row. So our next row will be the three into the center stitch. Oops. chain three my yarn's getting darker so I do apologize for this it may be a little bit difficult to see but I'm hoping this light is bright enough so you can see so it's one two three into the center you can work over your yarn if you like to you're going to double crochet in the next stitch and see how we've got another stitch here because we want to skip those two stitches don't we but we've got another stitch so we double crochet in that one and that's where it increased for us on the previous row so on this row we've got an extra stitch 
So we're going to skip these two stitches, go into the next one. So now when we work, we will have an extra stitch to work because you're working into the center stitch of these five here. So if you find the five, so that's one, two, three, four, five. So the third stitch is our center one. We've still got another stitch there, so it's a double crochet, three into the next one. I hope this is making sense to you. Because we increased on the previous row, we gained an extra stitch before we do our three into the top. And every time we do the five down here, we will gain an extra stitch on the next row. And that's how it increases for you. Just excuse me one second. <coughs> My voice is going a bit husky. So next stitch. So we've gained another stitch because we need to skip that one. So we double crochet into there. We skip two stitches, work double crochet, a double crochet into the next one because remember we've gained that extra stitch. And now you should be able to eyeball it as you go, but if you can't, grab all your stitches and grab find the middle stitch. And you know if when you're doing your three into the top, if you're not in the right stitch, it means you've done a mistake somewhere. So double crochet in the next two stitches. Skip st two stitches, so one, two. Double crochet in the next. Double crochet in the next. Three double crochets in the next one. Double crochet into the next two stitches. Skip two, double crochet in the next two stitches. And that's what it's looking like. It's looking pretty good, isn't it? really liking this pattern and I've just made this up I did use some photos for inspiration but they were from um, jackets I didn't want a jacket so I wanted a poncho so I've used the inspiration of that stitch to use on these on this poncho so I'm going to leave you to it now so it's a row of three when I say a row of three, we've got three stitches, two, three, in that one stitch. So we're going to have two rows of three, so the next one will be the same as this one. And the third row after that will be a row of five. So it's two rows of three, a row of five, two rows of three, a row of five, and continue on just like that. We want to continue on like this until we get to our shoulders the outside of our shoulder, so the edge of our shoulder where our arm starts to go down. That is when we're going to change our pattern and we're just going to continue on with just a three, no more increases. So I'm going to do a few rows and then I'll come back and show you what we're up to and then you can see what you've got to do. This is what I have so far. And this is on Rachel, and Rachel is one size smaller than me. I am at Australian size 10, and she is an Australian size 8. So I actually, it actually fits me, but it's a little bit big for her. And what I need you to do is increase this section until it is up to your shoulder, so your shoulder. This is where her shoulder is. My shoulders comes up to here. 
and then I want you to work so this is an increased row, this dark colour this last row is an increased row I want you to work another two rows of the three and then an increased row with the five double crochets into the same stitch so I will be working two more rows of three and a row of five so that will bring it out to there and then I'll show you what it looks like So I just want to show you this, every time you add the increase, so there is an increase here with the 5 stitches, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The next time you come along you will have an extra stitch in the next row, so 1, 2, 3. Then on my second row, so 1, 2, 3. And every time you add in the increase row there, you'll gain another stitch, so if you add another increase you'll have 4 stitches that go up the side sections. Alrighty, so my last increase round was this grey, really funny looking grey, bluey colour, and that is on my shoulder. I've done two rows of no increasing, and I'm going to do one more increase row, and after that, I will just be doing no increase rows at all. So the increase rows on my shoulder, once you get to your shoulder, you'll work two rows of no increase and then one more row of increase. And continue on using the rows with the no increases. So does that make sense? So so far I have two I think I have two increase rows there, yep, I do. And then I'm going to make a third one here. And then after that, no more increases at all. And of course, because I'm doing an increase row, this will be my third increase row. One, two, three. Yep, it'll be my third increase row. So I have we'll have four stitches coming up the side and the row after that, sorry, I will have four in, uh, four stitches coming up the side and then the centre bit. Hi guys, I just thought I would give you a bit of a look at mine, so see what it's looking like at the moment. Now we've got to remember that Rachel's shoulders are smaller than mine. My shoulders actually come out to here. So she's like two rows smaller than me. So my shoulders come to there. I've done the rows where, let me turn the camera on, that might be easier for you guys to see. <laughs> Two rows of that, that's where you don't do any, in there's no increase in these two blue rows. And this grey row here, that is an increase row, it's got five stitches in that middle stitch there. So that's what it's looking like. So what I'm going to do now is just add rows of no increasing. So from now on I'm going to do the one where we do those three stitches into that one stitch from now on. I think this is coming up really, really pretty. Okay, so now I just have to do a heap of crocheting. I'm not sure how long I'm going to make this, I'm going to just keep trying on as I go and then decide how long I want to. I, I've never really had a poncho that I wear so I'm not sure on the length that I should make it. So yeah, anyway, I just thought I would show you that. It's looking good, isn't it? So what colours are you, are you using? Let me know in the box below. <laughs> 